Hey everyone, Alex Williams here of the New Stack, and today we're talking about three things we heard at AWS reInvent about data. What those three themes are. Let's go take a look. Amazon Glacier and the accessibility of data in deep cold storage. Burr, burr. Application first thinking and WASMA and ML, that's WebAssembly and Machine Learning and how they are the new hotness. Number one, Glacier. AWS announced more features for Glacier. It's cold storage, including the ability to pull data in pretty close to real time. We've come up with this um, storage class for Glacier, for S3 Glacier, that allows them to retrieve that data once, twice, four times a year uh, on average uh, in milliseconds uh, by leveraging technologies that allow us to retrieve that data in that amount of time. And it is also really important. It's part of S3's intelligent tiering capabilities. So if you put data into uh, S3 and you turn intelligent tiering on, that data will transition from various uh, classes all the way down through deep archive. So as your data becomes colder, um, that data can move further and further down. And you can put some policies around that so that, for instance, certain data will only go as low as, say, this new instant retrieval or in instant access tier. Number two, persistence. Veeam is established in the data backup and recovery market. Its secret sauce, treat the application as the application. Don't treat all the individual elements as unique silos. Apps have many different kinds of storage. It may be structured, it may be unstructured, you might have object storage, and you see it in service such as VM Data Mover, which is applicable to both persistent and non-persistent data. It's the application that matters. The new hotness. Single Store is a distributed relational SQL database management system that is now integrating support for WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a hot topic out there for those working in that scale environments. The new stack writer, Mary Branscombe, describes WebAssembly as small, fast, efficient, and very secure stack-based virtual machines that doesn't care what CPU or OS it runs on. It's designed to execute portable bytecode, compiled from code originally written in C, C++, Rust, Python, or Ruby, at near native speed. WebAssembly doesn't only run in the browser. It started on the client, but is proving very useful on the server as well. It makes it easier to work with data where it is, so you can move the compute to the data itself. And so this allows you to actually put, the comp put your business logic inside the database. Uh, and allows you to not have to like jump through hoops or like, well, you know, I'm I write in Go or I write in Rust or I write in in uh, in JavaScript. In most other databases, you have to you have to sort of align the programming language you're using with the language that the database supports. And with Wasm, you know, really anything you you know we have we have um, you, you know we can run you can run Python, you can run you can run Rust, you can run uh, run just about anything. And you know it's a, a um, kind of near bare metal performance. And in machine learning, the case is being made for models to ingest data from multiple sources without requiring a schema. No more understanding all the entities, all the sources, and drawing some schematic with lines between boxes. 20 years of that kind of work was enough, especially if the underlying data really can't be used. Well, it turns out a lot of the systems that we have have bad data, dirty data, missing data. And so by building a system that's data first and actually looking at all those systems and the underlying atomic level pieces of information in each of those sources, traversing all of that and actually using machine learning to understand the patterns in that data. So one of the things that we did was we commercialized a bunch of research from the University of Washington. Uh, the world's leading expert in probabilistic databases is actually at the UW. And we used his research to be able to figure out how we could train machines to intuit what actually is that data telling us about that customer and about that human being. In summary, number one, we're seeing the real need for data accessibility in deep cold storage systems, in particular, Amazon Glacier. Number two, 
application first thinking is really taking root. And number three, all the new stuff from WebAssembly to ML models, moving compute to the data is a path that's beginning to emerge. Thanks for watching everyone. As usual, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on your favorite social media channels and come visit us at thenewstack.io.